Theran Rexan was on scene of the aftermath of a fire that tore through a Kai sand paper and glue factory on 6 September. We spoke to Cosmo City Fire Station Commander Rory Clark. Uh, these firefighters have been working on shifts. What we've had is, because we've also had a major fire in town, uh, they work longer than normal, but we've had a day shift yesterday that came out. The first night shift came out at about half past five, six o'clock, and then uh, they changed later in the morning to the day shift. They worked until about seven, and then we brought in the night shift. The night shift then took to relieve teams during the night, and now at seven o'clock we brought in a new shift again. Uh, the shifts have changed, so it's fresh guys that have been brought in, and they've just arrived now at half past seven, between half past seven and eight. And there's additional vehicles now coming through at about nine, ten o'clock. We had an expansion of, of heat over here. You can see there's no roof anymore. Yeah. So we actually chopped this uh, piece of uh, door over here to gain access. So we got houses in here for both sides, left and right. We had to um, obviously be careful for the rest of the collapsing steel and and you can see that big beam over there yeah. melts at about 1,200 degrees Celsius and you can see the way it's bent. So you can just imagine the extent of heat that was in here. There was, there, there's a tremendous amount of structural damage. First of all, the whole roof has collapsed. By the roof collapsing, it's also pulled the walls in. The walls are very unstable at the moment. Until we can actually say that it's safe to go inside, we can't tell how much structural damage is inside the building. But this building is severely damaged at this stage. Yeah. What happens is we call it kind of hotspots now. Because of the contents, uh, it's quite flammable contents in the inside the building, uh, and we can't reach the middle yet because of the building. And so we're working towards the middle, and therefore we don't have a lot of fire, but we have a lot of smoldering. And this is now why we're actually trying to put out the smoldering spot because of the smoke. Uh, we're trying to prepare, you know, get rid of the smoke and actually then make it safe to work for the inside. At the moment, it's still under investigation. The insurance companies have been here already to appoint forensic guys to investigate. We've had our fire investigators here as well. It's still unsafe to go into the main part of the building, so therefore we cannot establish the cause at the moment, but it's ongoing investigation. You, can see. You, will, you will notice as well that um, the paper has got a bit of a, like a plastic and, and, and a that's film layer on it as well. That's what's yeah. making it so it's difficult as well. Yeah. I think first of all, as the people didn't realize, the community didn't realize this fire is going to take so long to put out uh, because of its contents, etc. And the structures collapse. And when they realized that we've actually been here for so long, there's been an overwhelming response. First of all, the response for refreshments, water, uh, things like that. And now we're having community respond and bringing us food, um, the refreshments to rehydrate, etc. And that's uh, been an overwhelming response from the community. We've actually had to turn people away and say, we, we are relieving crews here. This is not as strenuous as a calling town. And we've redirected people to Florida Park to help with uh, contributions to the guys working in.